Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Tuesday, March 28th, Cycle Day B. Good morning. I'm Eric. And I'm Allie. There will be a brief World Languages Club meeting on Wednesday after school in Mrs. Corbett's room. The Collar Run is being held on April 29th. The entry fee for 16 and older is $25 and $15 for 15 and under. See the flyer for more information. Today at 2.30 to 4.30 p.m., there will be a drama club meeting. All members are highly encouraged to attend. We will be viewing the final performance, fundraising, and under-the-year activities. High school concert band rehearsals will begin tonight from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at the elementary school. Check Edmodo or see Mr. Lane for a full schedule. Middle school concert band rehearsals will begin tomorrow from 3 to 4.30 p.m. at the elementary school. There will be a bus to the elementary school. Check Edmodo to, or see Mr. Lane for a full schedule. A reminder to all artists working on their band shoes. These are due back to the art room by this Friday, March 31st. Students, in regards to scheduling of classes next year, the QR code is being displayed, will soon be found in the hall hallways and available for access in the course selection booklet. We will have devices in the guidance office with course selection guide loaded so that you can <laughs> browse the in the guidance office. Attention history B competitors in grades 6, 7th, and 8th. We will be meeting at 2 o'clock in Mrs. Blackburn's room Tuesday and Thursday this week for practice. Please congratulate the following students for their participation in the PMEA Region 3 band this past Friday. Caroline Telfer, first oboe, second chair. Terry Lossett, first cornet, fourth chair. Cody Purity, <laughs> euphonium, seventh chair. Today for lunch, we are having Papa John's pizza, steamed broccoli with cheese, fruit juice, cinnamon applesauce, and a snow-covered brownie. Thanks, Thanks and, and have, have a great, great day. day. This is Seth here with your brain teaser of the day. There is an ancient invention still used in some parts of the world today that allows people to see through walls. What is it? If you guessed window, you are correct. Thanks and have a great day. I'm Bailey with your daily weather forecast. Today is going to have thunderstorms with a high of 63 and a low of 44. The rest of the week won't have much of a chance of rain until Friday, which has a 90% chance. Temperatures will be in the mid to low 50s after today. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. What year did the U.S. women's national soccer team come to Pittsburgh? 2015, I was there. Yep. Which MLB team ended a 108-year curse by winning the 2016 World Series? The Chicago Cubs. That's correct. How long is the regulation NBA game? 48 minutes. Correct. <laughs> How many seams are on your average baseball? Four. That's actually what I was thinking in my head, but it's wrong. The answer is 216. <laughs> what number was Mario Lemieux? Number 66. That's correct. How many games um, are in NBA. an NBA playoff series. playoff series? Seven. Correct. Which NHL team has the most Stanley Cups? The Montreal Canadiens. Do you know how many they have? 23. 24. Close. Hannah, what is the only NFL team that has a logo on one side of their helmet? San Francisco. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Name the four NHL teams that Wayne Gretzky was on. Uh, Kings, Rangers, Oilers, and Blues. Yep. What number did Larry Bird wear? 25. No, it was 33. Close, so. <laughs> Which NBA team plays in Portland? Uh, Golden State Warriors. I don't know. The Trailblazers. <laughs> <laughs> Which NFL team plays in M&T Bank Stadium? The, the Ravens. Ravens. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Who has the most home runs in MLB history? Barry Bonds. That is correct. Heck yeah.